Welcome to the 2012 Olympic statistics. Now that London 2012 has ended in a blaze of fireworks, let's look at some of the costs, how many of us watched it, and how many gold medals Team GB won. The Olympic tournament used a staggering 600 basketballs, which would have made the most epic game of dodgeball. Over in the tennis courts, they stocked up a phenomenal 2,200 dozen tennis balls. So that's 2200 times 12. Anyway. There was an impressive 2,700 footballs supplied, so we're unclear of how many of them ended up in your neighbour's gardens. And no, they haven't made that an Olympic sport yet, but 2012 sponsors Durex distributed 150,000 condoms as freebies during the Games. Ding dong! The opening ceremony was watched by 27 million people. Mo Farah drew in 17.1 million, Chris Hoy's 10 million, Usain Bolt's 100 metre sprint enthralled 20 million, while the closing ceremony brought 26 million viewers. It's calculated that a phenomenal 51.9 million of us in the UK tuned in to watch the Olympics. So that's 9 out of 10 people. The other guy was obviously watching the box set of Modern Family or something. Some interesting numbers for you. The soldiers allocated to watch over everything. The numerous volunteers to support all the athletes from the 204 countries. In total, 39 records were broken this year. There were 906 medals produced for each Games, each gold medal costing £436 to make, silver 237 and 25 quid for the bronze. I wonder what they'll swap in cash generators for that. The total training of Team GB came to a whopping £264 million, so that works out that each medal we won cost £4 million. Quid. All in all, I'm sure you'll agree, it was a fantastic result for Team GB, beating our Beijing 2008 golds, tripling our Athens 2004 result and surpassing that of Sydney 2000. We uh, don't like to talk about Atlanta 96.